How are you guys doing? Today, I'm going to speak about a commonly used preservative, sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate is a kind of salt that has been long used to preserve foods. Ever heard of cured meat? Well, you can find it in many foods including bacon, ham, hot dogs and luncheon meat. Sodium nitrate can be found in plants and unregulated drinking water as well. Nitrogen is turned into sodium nitrate in soil. Sodium nitrate is necessary for plant growth. Plants absorb sodium nitrate from the soil in varying amounts. Examples of vegetables with high levels of sodium nitrate are spinach, celery, radishes, lettuce, carrots, cabbage and beets. Our body needs nitrates and nitrates for various functions. Our body breaks down nitrates into nitrates which is then converted into either nitric oxide or nitrosamines. A study conducted in 2009 revealed that approximately 80% of dietary nitrates in a person's diet are obtained from vegetable consumption. Nitric oxide is a compound that supports our heart health. Nitric oxide protects against cardiovascular disease, lower blood pressure and improves blood flow. When the World Health Organization WHO announced that processed meats were carcinogens or cancer-causing, it was mostly in regard to the nitrates and nitrates being potentially cancer-causing. This has led to several reactions against the preservative. Most of the nitrates we encounter are consumed directly, but are produced from nitrates by the actions of bacteria found in our mouth. Interestingly, research shows that use of an antibacterial mouthwash can massively cut down this oral manufacture of nitrates. Once these nitrates reach our stomach that has an acidic environment, they become nitrosamines, some of which are carcinogenic and have been linked with bowel cancer. But for this to happen, a source of amines, chemicals related to ammonia that are found abundantly in protein foods, is required. Nitrosamines can be created directly in foods through high heat cooking as with fried bacon. Therefore, it's not so much nitrates or nitrates per se that are carcinogenic, but rather the way they are cooked and their local environment that is an important factor. For example, nitrates in processed meats are in close proximity to proteins, specifically amino acids. When cooked at high temperature, this allows them to more easily form nitrosamines, the cancer-causing compound. Following WHO's announcement that processed meat can cause cancer, Many supermarkets offer organic, nitrate-free alternatives to processed meats. However, the companies that produce processed meats must still preserve their processed meats. They do this by using celery powder. By definition, the use of celery powder in place of chemically produced sodium nitrate makes the product organic. But this doesn't mean that the organic hot dogs on your grocer's shelf contain any less sodium nitrate. It's still used by your body and can become nitrosamines just as easily as a chemically produced nitrate. The USDA doesn't regulate celery salt like it does regulate chemically processed sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate has limits, celery powder doesn't. Therefore, your organic processed meat may contain more sodium nitrate than the usual processed meats. Rather than worrying about the nitrates themselves, I think we should instead pay attention to about where they come from. Processed meats provide us with very less nutritional benefits, while vegetables provide us with healthy carbs and fiber. These natural alternatives also help to prevent the conversion of nitrosamines. They help to keep the nitrates and nitrates you eat from becoming carcinogens. That's all for today. Thank you. Hey everyone, if you liked today's video, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss my weekly videos where I shall be empowering you to lead a healthy life. You can also follow me on my Facebook or Insta to get daily health tips and recommend your loved ones as well. Meanwhile, if you have any questions or feedback or even any topics that you would like me to discuss, feel free to type in the comment box. Thank you for watching!